it out. Uh huh. And you haven't walked in his laws and his statutes. Go ahead and read. Nor in his testimony. Uh huh. Therefore, this evil has happened unto you as at this day. Therefore, this evil has happened unto you as this day. Now let's go back to Hosea and pick it up at verse four. Hosea two, and we're gonna pick it up at verse four. Hosea two and four. Now we understand that it was the Lord that gave Israel everything, and the Lord took it from them because they stopped serving him. They stopped obeying his laws and his statutes and his commandments. Therefore the Lord came and he took it away from them. Let's start reading here at Hosea 2 and pick it up at verse 4. 2 and 4. We get it. Go ahead and read. And I will not have mercy upon her children. Uh-huh. For they be the children of whore. Now he's saying to Israel, I'm not going to have mercy upon her children because they're the children of whore. Go ahead and read on. For their mother has played the harlot. Uh-huh. She that conceived them has done shamefully. Uh-huh. See what she said? She said, I'm going to go after my lovers that have done all this stuff for me. Didn't they understand that it was the Lord that did all this stuff for them? Go ahead and read on. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up thy way with thorns and make a wall that she shall not find her path. So now I'm going to hedge up your way. In other words, whenever, whatever you go after, I'm going to block it up so you will not be able to get it. In other words, I'm going to just cut off everything from you, Israel. Go ahead and read on. Verse 7. Go ahead. And she's going to follow after her lovers and will not overtake them. Go ahead and read. And she shall seek them, but shall not find them. Uh-huh. Then shall she say, I will go and return to my first husband. For then was it better with me than not. Now then, you know, once the Lord took everything away from her, now they're ready to repent. So now they're going to say, I'm going to go back and return to my first husband because things was good with me then. Yeah. But at first, you know, she was given, uh, Israel was given all these uh, uh, pagan deities Credit for taking care of her. But now after the Lord has stripped her and took everything away from her, now she said, I'm going to go back and return to my first husband. And that's who gave me everything. Go ahead and read on. Go ahead and read. She did not know that I gave her corn and wine and oil uh-huh. and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for Baal. Go ahead. Therefore will I return and take away my corn in the time thereof uh-huh. and my wine and the season thereof. Go ahead. In other words, everything that I did for her, I'm going to go and I'm going to take it all back from her. And I'm going to leave her naked and bare like I found her. Right. Then he found her naked and bare. Yeah. He said, I'm going to take her right back. I'm going to take everything away. Because the Lord told you in Ezekiel, I found her naked and bare. And I covered her and I gave her the best of everything, right? Then the Lord, they turned around and they took all the stuff that our God had given them. And they started to serve pagan deities with it. So now the Lord said, I'm going to come and I'm going to take it all back. Go ahead and read on. Go ahead and read. Now will I discover her lewdness in the sight of her lover. Go ahead. And none shall deliver her out of my hand. And the Lord saying, nobody going to deliver her out of my hand. In other words, you know, I put this thing on her, and ain't nobody going to deliver her out of my hand. Let's go now to uh, let's go now to Isaiah chapter 54, and we'll pick it up at verse 1. I want you to read that first verse, then I want you to skip down to uh, verse 5. Isaiah 54, and pick it up at verse 1. Then uh, skip down to uh, verse 5, 54 and 1. Okay. Go ahead and read. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not break. Uh-huh. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that didst not travail with child. Uh-huh. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife. Now, the Lord. skip down to uh, verse 5. Go ahead and read. For thy maker is thine husband. Uh-huh. She would have said, I make his thine husband, and the Lord of hosts is his name. Go ahead and read on. And thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, uh-huh. the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. Go ahead. For the Lord has called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit, uh-huh. and a wife of youth, and thou shalt call her beauty. Uh-huh. And thou shalt say, Behold, the Lord is the Lord, and the Lord is the Lord. Go ahead. When thou wast refused, saith thy God. In other words, when you was cast off. Go ahead and read on. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, uh-huh. but with great mercies will I gather thee. In other words, the Lord not going to keep his anger forever. He said, For a small moment I forsaken thee. But with great mercies I will gather you, because when Israel messed up, the Lord kicked them out. Now he said, I forsook you just for a moment, but with great mercies I am going to gather you. Because I made a covenant with Abraham that I must keep. You know, not, and the Lord even said somewhere in the scripture, now, I'm not doing this for your sake, Israel, but I'm doing it for my holy name's sake, because I made this promise to Abraham, and I cannot break it. Go ahead and read on. Go ahead and read. 
She was saying, in a little wrath, I just hid my face from you just for a moment. Go ahead and read on. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, uh -huh. said the Lord, thy redeemer. He said, but with great mercies I will have everlasting kindness on thee. Let's go now to uh, Jeremiah chapter 3, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Jeremiah 3, and we'll begin reading at verse 1. 3 and 1. So now the Lord had married Israel. Israel had messed up, and the Lord had divorced Israel. But he's going to marry them all over again. Let's go uh, first here to uh, Jeremiah chapter 3. And we'll begin reading at uh, 3 and 1. 3 and 1. Okay, go ahead and read. They say if a man put away his wife, and she go from him, and become another man's wife, uh -huh. and become another man, shall he return unto her again? Uh -huh. Shall not that land be greatly polluted? You know, the Lord had a law. You know, and the law said that, you know, if, if a man had a wife and he put her away and she went and became another man's wife, you know, then he wasn't supposed to take her back because that land was greatly polluted. But however, the Lord said, return unto me, Israel. Go ahead and read on. Lift up thine eyes unto the high place. Go ahead. And see where thou hast not been laying with. Uh-huh. Go ahead. And thou hast polluted the land with thy hoarding uh -huh. and with thy wickedness. Go ahead. Therefore the showers have been, been withholding, and there has been no latter rain. And thou hast the whore's forehead, thou refusest to be ashamed. Lord said, because of what you have done, Israel, the showers have been withholding from you, and there have been no latter rain. In other words, you're suffering. Because, you know, when you don't get rain, that means you don't get food. So now, you know, you you suffering, Israel, because of what you have done. Go ahead and read on. Go ahead. Will he reserve his anger forever? Now he asked the question, will the Lord reserve his anger forever? No, the Lord's not going to reserve his anger forever, but he's going to reserve it for a time. He said, for a short moment, for a short time I forsook you, but with great mercies I will gather you. Go ahead and read on. Will he keep it to the end? Uh-huh. Behold, thou hast spoken and done evil things as thou couldest. Go ahead. The Lord said also unto me in the days of Josiah, the king, that he would not have done. Uh-huh. Go ahead. And I said, after she had done all these things, turn thou unto me. But she returned not, and her treacherous sister Judah saw it. Go ahead, and read. And I saw it, when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, uh -huh. I had put her away, Go ahead. given her a bill of divorce. She was say, I put her away, and I gave her a bill of divorce. Go ahead, and read on. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the highlight also. Now I want you to skip down to uh, verse 14. Go ahead, and read on. Uh -huh. For I am married unto you. Now, the Lord saying to Israel, Turn, O backsliding children, for I am married unto you. Go ahead, read. And I will take you one of the cities, uh -huh. and two of the families, Go ahead. and will bring you to Zion. So, this is what the Lord means by I'm going to take you back. I'm going to take you one of a city, and, 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 and I'm going to bring you back to Zion, because I kicked you out when you messed up. So, now I'm going to bring you back because I'm married unto you. Go ahead, read on. Verse 15. Go ahead. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. Uh -huh. Now, we know this is future here because the Lord said, when I return you, Israel, I'm going to give you pastors according to my heart, and they're going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. We know that is not happening today, is it? Because Israel pastors are not feeding them with knowledge and understanding. That's why they are doing everything contrary to the word of God because they are not being fed with knowledge and understanding. However, the Lord said, when I take you back, I'm going to give you some pastors according to my heart. In other words, they're going to teach you according to my word. And, and they're going to uh, uh, feed you with knowledge and with understanding. Go ahead and read on. And it shall come to pass, and uh -huh. you be multiplied and increased in the land. Go ahead. In those days, saith the Lord, they shall say no more the ark of the covenant of the Lord. Uh -huh. Neither shall it come to mind. Neither shall they remember it. Neither shall they visit it. Neither shall that be done anymore. Go ahead. At that time, they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord. So we know this is when the Lord returned, because it said at that time, they would call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord. Go ahead and read on. And all the nations shall be gathered unto it, uh -huh. to the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem. Neither shall they walk any more after the imagination of their evil heart. Uh -huh. in, those days, said the, said the, in those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I 